for encoding you can use any library but uh, just to make it quick as our data set is very small so what i'm going to do is i am going to do it manually it will be also a good exercise so we have fuel type select type and transmission right so let's write car dot head hmm. what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the card data set and i'm going to replace we have this replace function and inside of this i will write fuel type Okay, whatever the fuel type is and in this I will pass my dictionary I have petrol I have petrol okay it shall be named as zero it shall be named as zero and for diesel let's look into for diesel let's look into the spellings the D, a capital D I okay diesel diesel I will be having one and same thing for um, C and G I'll be having two right uh, see the fuel type has been converted out now only one small thing that we need to do is we need to mention in place is equal to true in place is equal to true. now if you check car dot head we will be getting the fuel type as this we have directly converted it out rather than using any library because we have a very small data set and it will be really quick i have just passed out a function where i have this dictionary for fuel type wherever petrol is there it will be zero and for diesel one and cn Oops, cng CNG we have uh, two right now the next thing that we need to do over here is if you again if you check car dot info now okay see fuel type is now an integer okay previously it was an object now let's do the same thing for the other two that is seller type and individual I'm gonna copy out uh, the same code paste it out over here and over here rather than writing uh, fuel type I'm going to take seller type and in this seller type I have two things I have dealer dealer will be zero at least for now and then I have individuals individuals one I guess that's exactly what we needed we have seller type dealer is equal to zero and individual uh, i think we have a typo over here yeah individual hmm. let's again look into car dot head okay again i have the same thing uh let's write one more code the last one So for our transmission we have manual and automatic right so I'm, I'm gonna just copy out this make sure there is no typing errors okay transmission let's take manual as zero I have manual as zero and the next thing is automatic as one automatic as one now if I see If I see car and let's check out the info you see all of them are integers first one obviously we don't need it so I have not uh, actually taken out the case also I'll, well, while splitting out the data set we will just remove the car value right so we have everything that we need and we have also converted the string columns that is the object column to integers the next thing that we need to do is split the data set so we have completed all the previous steps we have encoded our data set also let's split the data in splitting the data what we need to do is we need to we cannot use iloc over here right because uh, see the selling price it's somewhere in the middle what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to do something like this car dot drop and I'm going to drop out the columns that I don't specifically need. 
so I don't need car name okay and I don't need price. the selling price as that will be my uh, this value the selling price that will be my y value okay car name selling price let's try okay there's a key error mm, let's do access is equal to one it shouldn't be much error now yeah so everything is fine now let's do it for y okay y equals to car and let's pass selling price so if i check y x x has everything here uh present price kilometers driven fuel type seller type transmission owner and then y is 3.75 4.75 all of those stuff okay. uh, that is the selling selling price okay if you look into the data set selling price this column should be filled with the price of the owner wants to sell the car at okay let's get back to where we were we have x and y now what i'm going to do is i'm going to split our model into train test split if you recall what i do is what i usually like to do is i'll just call out the function and copy out the code from here so i have these example copy this out paste it out over here okay and let's put the test size as we have only 300 values of this 300 values somewhere right we have only 300 values ah 301 values so i'm going to do is i'm going to take uh 0.2 percent and you can put the random state anything let's take two okay now what i'm going to do is i have x train y train i have done the model splitting part also now what i'll do is i am going to train my model i'm going to create a linear regression model so i'm going to write lr which stands for linear regression i'll create an object of that class now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fit it on my data set so i'm going to pass fit function and then i'm going to pass x train and let's pass y train hmm. so successfully we have created a linear regression model and that's exactly what we needed now the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, create and uh, we need to do prediction and then do the evaluation part so what i'm going to do is uh, I am going to let's change this to seven first of all. Hmm. Prediction. So we'll create y pred. For y pred, we will be uh, we can have it as lr dot predict, and we'll pass our x test. Okay. Successfully, we have done uh, the y test. Uh, y test. Let me write this y test pred. Okay, this gives me a more clear picture and then we will do the evaluation part.